from the Bob Mills Weather Center, the Oklahoma weather expert, Alan Crone. So we had some pretty heavy storms uh, late yesterday afternoon and early evening and some sporadic microbursts, some sporadic wind damage, you know, across the area, uh, a little bit to the east southeast of Tulsa. Uh, had some around the broken over vicinity, some around prior. So, you know, we'll get reports as the morning progresses uh, have, and try to pass those along to you here. But it was not too significant for most locations. Uh, we're still dealing with some shower activity this morning and we'll have at least a chance through midday. 73 right now in Tulsa. Yesterday we had triple digits on the map for the daytime high. And today it's basically upper 70s and lower 80s across northern Oklahoma. Here's the metro uh, around the high school just to the east of Broken Arrow. There's a downpour, but it's moving quickly away. That's south of Catoosa and then a shower near the Kellyville area. I expand the radar. Southern Kansas is dry right now. Most of northern Oklahoma is dry, but from the pocket of east of Pryor to Tahlequah, Muskogee and the Old Mulkey vicinity, that's where we're picking up some rain and thunder and lightning. That storm cell near Old Mulkey has some small hail it's not severe uh, and then the storms that are located on the Oklahoma Arkansas state line area just to the east of Stillwell maybe a little bit of small hail and gusty wind so darker shade of green basically is representing the better opportunity for the morning hours but elsewhere and I do want to stress this even right now it's quiet in Pawnee and Pawhuska you still may have a shower or two this morning and still at midday but as the day progresses, the chance is still going to be pretty low across the northern areas and we'll be more focusing on the Red River. What's coming up next? Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, we have a system nearby. And then Sunday, Monday, opportunities for more rain, shower and storm opportunities. And that may even have some locally heavy rainfall. But that is the signal of a pattern change. So we get a break from the heat today, but Friday and Saturday, we're back into the 90s. And then that system on Sunday and Monday will knock us right back down into the 80s. So here's the hour by hour for today. Boy, it's a lot different than yesterday. 70s out the door. It's a little on the muggy side, but as soon as that north wind kind of picks up at about 10 miles per hour, that'll definitely help that out. Uh, the probability, again, in the metro is not zero, but it's somewhat low through the next several hours. The lunch hour, 76. 3 o'clock at 79. The 4 o'clock time period today, I think that's when we reach our high at about 80 to 81. Look what happens tonight. 9 o'clock, pleasant, and 75. So this is going to shape up to be a really nice day temperature-wise compared to yesterday. All of those upper 70s on the map today across the Bartlesville area and Venita and Pryor and Tahlequah. <coughs> Pardon me, 81 in Tulsa. South of I-40, it'll be a little warmer to the upper 80s. But here's some really good news. Check out tomorrow morning. We're going to start into the 60s tomorrow morning, including the Tulsa Metro at 65 to 66. And then we go back up to 87 on Thursday. So the cool down is underway. We still have some showers and storms. The immediate Tulsa Metro, the probability is low, but not zero. And then Saturday, Sunday and Monday, rain gear. Keep it handy. Uh, we could have some pockets of locally heavy rainfall during that time period. I'll have more specifics coming up later. All right. Thanks, Alan.